Hello everybody and today we tear this tile sports bluetooth tracker down so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to grab a flathead screwdriver like this one right here and then turn and then turn it upside down. Be sure that the tile logo which also doubles as the buttons is facing down and then you want to pry it in between this left corner right here as you can see all right so let's pry it out and hope not and hope not to injure myself in the process and after a little bit of prying I've been able to crack it open just a little bit because this tile sports is advertised as rugged and waterproof so what so what do what do we have to do to get to give it a, water, a waterproof rain glue it all in this is why this is why this is super hard to um pry out and if you're not careful the screwdriver just may just like go into your hand like this and you just like get hurt so just be careful But anyway, it looks like it's the shell is coming out. Oh, there we go. See that? Just fry it around so that so that I don't damage the circuit board. Ow! There we go. All right. So, so as you can see, we're we are in the we are in the tile sports, and on this side, we just see that there's a battery, there's there's a battery, and a button, and most of it's is taken up by test bonds. And this is the piezo speakers. This is what 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 makes the loud the beep and sound like on this. This is my working tile. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it just it just ring my um phone over there. But anyway, but anyway, enough talking about these things. Let's let's head on to the back side of the circuit board. If we can focus, thank you. So, on this side we have an antenna, some bu a buns, and some test bonds. And on the back side of the circuit board, we can we can see that, that, that there's a there's a CR2032 battery. So so tile say it's not replaceable, but if you don't need it, but if you don't need the the waterproof capabilities, well you can just pry it out like this carefully because it's glued down. Try to not crack the circuit board in the process. And there you go. You could theoretically throw this old battery, to this old battery, and put a new CR twenty thirty two battery in and keep using it. But yeah, if you need the waterproofness of this, just buy a new one. But if you don't need the waterproof and just put on your keys or something, then yeah, this is a. <laughs> this is a little bit of a viable choice. Anyway, as you can see, there is some chip of which I will fo focus in for you. So we see like a 6002Z 678FSG Japan chip, something like that. <laughs> and there's a capacitors, another chip, which is six two four zero GC two seven one eight. Yes, seven one eight. And this and this circuit board is it is is a little bit dirty. I don't know why, 
I just received this. I just received this in a large lot. So, so I don't know the the story between this the story of these tiles. But anyway, I can see another small chip. KB zero zero L three, right there. Ooh. and there are two crystals. Super small. And this is the terminal for the piezo speakers. <laughs> and and this is the Bluetooth antenna. Some super small chip. Some other chip probably for power management. Capacitor, resistors, big capacitors, battery holders. And that and that's it for the tile sports teardown. Thanks for watching.